Right, so this video is going to show you how to calculate the inverse of a general matrix. And again, it uses the matrix of determinants I introduced in the first video. So to motivate it, I just want to show you something interesting. So we've been looking at this matrix in particular. Right? And we calculated the matrix of determinants of this matrix which turned out to be 1 minus 3 minus 3 minus 5 minus 12 minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3 okay and then I said to find the determinant you need to multiply this one by the chessboard which is what I called MOD prime so the chessboard here is plus minus plus this so you need to multiply four elements by minus one. Gives you one, three, minus three, five, minus twelve, six, minus three, six, minus three. And I said you could find the determinant by picking any row of A and using the dot product with a row of this one. Okay. And I said it doesn't matter which row you pick or row or column that is. So for example you can pick the first one so the first row here is 0 through 6 and the first row here is 1, 5, minus 3 so that gives you 0 plus 15 minus 18 is minus 3. Okay, And they all turn out to be minus 3. You can check this row, this row, this row, this row, this row, this row as well as the, sorry, these columns turn out to be minus 3 and if you do the rows as well then you also get minus 3. However, what's interesting is what happens if you kind of make a mistake and if I chose to multiply the first row of A by a different row of MOD prime. So instead of taking the first row, which I should do to find the determinant, if I multiply by the second or third row. So if I multiply by this row here, then I will get 0, 1, 2, dot 5, minus 12, 6. That's 0, minus 12, plus 12. That's 0. And that's not a coincidence. You can check it again. If instead of I take the first row there and then the third row here, then I will get 0, 1, 2, dot product, minus 3, 6, minus 3. That's 0 plus 6 minus 6, which is also 0. And this turns out to be true all the time. So if you pick the same row of A and the same row of this matrix, then you find the determinant. But if you pick the same row, one row of A and a different row of this matrix, then the answer always turns out to be 0. Okay. So it's interesting to think about why that's true, but I, I'm not going to explain it in this video. I just want to point it out. Now this helps us a lot to find the inverse because what should an inverse satisfy? The inverse should satisfy A times A inverse gives me the identity matrix, which is this one. Okay, So here I should have A, which is this, and A minus 1 is what I want to find out. Okay, and this should be equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's the equation I want to solve. So what I've shown is that if you take, so when you multiply these two things together, you will take one row of A here, and then you take the dot product with a column of this matrix, right? Like this. This column, or this column, or this column. And I want this matrix to be such that the first row and the first column should give me a 1. But the first row and the second column and the third column should give me zeros. Now, because of the properties of this MOD prime I've just showed you, if you imagine that we put the elements of MOD prime here, but you swap columns for rows, 
So here, I, the first column I write is the first row of MOD prime. So I write this as 1, 3, minus 3. And again, the second column I write is the second row here. So this is 5, minus 12, 6. And the third row I write is the third column. So that's minus 3, 6, minus 3. So what I've done here is, is called transposing the matrix. It means swapping the rows into columns. Okay. And you see that if you do this, then you, you nearly get the right answer, because we've showed that this one and this one give you 0. That's here. So 0 is OK. And we've shown that this one and this one give you 0. That's that. So this one is OK. But this one and this one does not give you this 0. This one and this one gives you minus 3, right? because it gives you the determinant of A. So you can work, you can show, similar to the other cases, so this one and this one, the two middle rows, is also going to get you a minus 3 here. And this one and this one is also going to get you a minus 3 there. But the others are all going to be 0. So this matrix, the transpose of MOD prime, nearly works, except that you get minus 3s instead of 1. But we can get 1 simply if you divide this matrix by the determinant of the matrix A, which is minus 3, then that will cancel all these minus 3s, and then you'll get the identity matrix that you wanted. <coughs> so let me summarize that. We can find the inverse as follows. Calculate this matrix of determinants, multiply by the chessboard to get this, then you take the transpose, that means you swap the rows of A for the columns of this matrix, and then finally you divide by the determinant of A, and that will give you the inverse. Right. So that explains the method. Let me just write that all down. Right. So I define the transpose of a matrix. Okay. So let's suppose I've got a matrix. I'll call it something else. Matrix B. So this we write as B with a T superscript. T stands for transpose. So this is the matrix where you swap all of the rows of B for the columns. So this is the matrix whose columns are equal to the rows of B. So I'll just do one example of this to show you how it works. So here's a matrix. OK, there's a matrix. So if I want to compute the transpose, then what I need to do is take the rows of this matrix. That's these. And then write these as columns of this new matrix like this. So the first row is 1, 2, 6. So I write 1, 2, 6 in the column. Then minus 1, 4, minus 3, 3, 5, 7. Okay. So that defines what the transpose matrix is. And with that definition, I can give you the formula for the inverse. So the inverse of A is A minus 1, which is this modified matrix of determinants times the chessboard transposed divided by the determinant of A. Okay, so that's a general formula for the determinant of a matrix which you can use using this matrix of determinants. Sorry, for the inverse of the matrix using the matrix of determinants. Okay. So I'll just do the example I've been using throughout to show you how it works. This is the matrix A. So first of all you compute the matrix of determinants. That was 1 minus 3 minus 3 minus 5 minus 12 minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3. Then you multiply by the chessboard. That gives you 1 
3 minus 3, 5 minus 12, 6, minus 3, 6 minus 3. Then you transpose it. Okay, so you write the rows as columns. So 1, 3, minus 3, 5 minus 12, 6, minus 3, 6 minus 3. And then finally, you divide by the determinant of a, which in this case was minus 3. So this gives you minus a third, minus 5 thirds, 1 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 1 minus 2, 1. So that's the answer. That is the inverse of the matrix A. Now, if you're not sure you may have made a mistake, it's a good idea to check. And the way you can check is just compute AA minus 1 and check it's the identity. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, times minus a third, minus 5 thirds, 1, minus 1, 4, minus 2, 4, minus 2, 1. So I get minus 1 plus 2 is 1, then 4 minus 4 is 0, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, looks so good so far, right? Um, minus 1 minus 4 plus 5 is 0, minus 5 plus 16 minus 10 is 1, 3 minus 8 plus 5 is 0, Minus two plus sorry minus two minus seven plus nine zero minus ten plus twenty eight minus eighteen is zero and six minus fourteen plus nine is one okay great so it works okay so the method works that's how you can calculate the inverse of a general matrix A. Right, incidentally, I can tell you now why I didn't choose the matrix A, which had an 8 here. Because if you were to do the matrix with an 8 here, then you can find that the determinant is equal to 0. Okay. And if the determinant is equal to 0, then this formula doesn't work. So in general, a matrix which has determinant equal to 0 has no inverse. Let me just quickly write that down as a little note. So if the determinant of A equals 0, then A has no inverse. Okay, And let me just show you that the determinant of this matrix is indeed 0. I'm oh, sorry i.e. not this matrix, this matrix. The determinant of that matrix is also 0, incidentally. Then. This matrix. So I could calculate it and check it's 0, but it's slightly easier than that. You can show that as follows, using the theorem I showed you. If I do that row 3 is replaced by row 3 minus 3, sorry, minus 2 row 2, Need to make some zeros. And this gives me 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, minus 1, minus 2. And now I can add row 1 to row 3. So I can do row 3 goes to row 3 plus row 1. And you see that that gives me zeros everywhere. Okay, So this matrix obviously has determinant 0 because I can calculate its determinant by taking the dot product of this row with the same row in the matrix of determinants, but this is all 0. Right? So if you have a row of all zeros, then the determinant got to be 0. Okay? So therefore, this matrix does not have an inverse. And that's why I had to put 9 here rather than 8.